Uh, will we have an open discussion afterwards? Yes, we will. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Tiếng các bạn đúng hay hay là dịch luôn đi đọc luôn đi
quay lại quay lại từ đầu đi em 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 dịch ừ. ừ. As, as you can see, this is the beating by the police of the uh, farmers who protested land confiscation in Van to see the degree of violence. So against this these families, and actually this lady helped the uh, uh, the communist militia before during the war. And now her own home is being expropriated by the government. So in many instances, the government expropriated land under justification that is for development projects, but actually they resold the land immediately afterwards for a price that is 10 or 20 times higher than the compensation level. This one is a famous activist, she is still in prison because for many many years she has been helping and supporting the victims of land grabbing in Vietnam. That's her. And she passed around this declaration, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights to the Prison. The farmer, and for that reason, she has been sent to prison. She's still in prison. And earlier last year, she was um, highlighted as a woman of courage. And this is a problem that is being. It's affecting a lot of people, the communities, religious communities as well as this is the, the case of Gok Zhao. The entire parish has been evicted. And also it affects a lot of indigenous communities across the country as well. And these are people, the owners of their lands who have been, who have been evicted. As they resisted, they become victims of abuse torture and beatings by the government.
tôi tự giới thiệu về mình tôi là như hoa lê thị kim thu một phương vị như hoa đã bỏ hết tuổi thanh xuân đi đời công lý tôi đã ba lần tù hai mươi thả nhiều lần đếp và nhiều lần bị ăn ninh mời điều ra ngoài những lần bị áp bức từ đài kể trên tôi còn những bị sát nhiễm trong cuộc sống trong một cuộc hành trình đi thư kiện suốt 27 năm tại Việt Nam Tôi xin nhắc My name is Kim Thu Lee One of many land graph victims Who sacrificed my entire years to advocate the justice I have been in prison three times Detained and released 22 times Denounced publicly and integrated many times by local authorities Additionally, I have been repeatedly harassed throughout my life, as well as my journey for justice for 27 years in Vietnam. Xin giải thích vắng tắt tại sao gọi tôi là Dương Hoa. Vì Dương Hoa là những người có nhà đất bị cướp bởi chính quyền bắt buộc họ phải đi thư kiện. Tuy nhiên, họ không những được nhà cầm quyền giải quyết vấn đề mà họ còn bị đánh đập, tra tấn, tù đài, sách nhiễu. The reason why I call myself as a life rap victim, this is a term used to call those, those lands and homes assigned by the Vietnamese government. These victims have no choice but to file the petition. However, not only their complaints will never be resolved, they were beaten, tortured, Tôi kêu gọi sự giúp đỡ của tất cả mọi người trong Việt Nam. Thay mặt nhóm chuyên hoa Việt Nam, tôi tha thiết kêu gọi các tổ chức nhân quyền ai quan tâm đến các chức sắc dân tộc bản địa, quyền tự do tín ngưỡng, tôn giáo, quyền dịch vụ môi sinh, quyền sở hữu tài sản, vân vân. Hãy cùng nhận cuộc và ủng trợ phong trào. On behalf of the land graph victims in Vietnam, I sincerely thank human rights organizations who cares about ethnic minorities, freedom of religion, environmental protection, and property ownership rights to join and to support the land graph victims movement. Tôi xin cảm ơn quý vị đã lắng nghe tiếng kêu vũ của dân quan Việt Nam. Thank you for listening to the land graph victims.
need to speak up, get together in the level of people, brothers, Vietnamese, Laos, and Cambodian. Speak in one voice. We need the land. The land is created for us, not for the government, and make the rich sell the land out to the foreign uh, investor. <coughs> Selfish investor. They do not care about our livelihood. When they take over, they build a high rise like that, and you cannot even go in there, try to rent the room. It's happened to be over there. You get enough. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the, it's very hard for us to, for the government to listen and accept the truth. That's what would happen. They use the force to kill the old people. It's not right. No. The power they have from us, we have to get power back. Thank you very much. Boy, little side of the family, but my people are very poor. Let's be clear. 
Sustainable for the land rights. So this one, 